I want to take I want to take a couple of minutes and share some tips, tricks, hacks that you can use in your first Lego League robot game for this year. The first tip is with programming. Before you start a mission, always go backwards. Always go backwards. So before you even leave base or home or the launch area, push your robot back against the wall. And that's in case if you accidentally misalign it like this, or you're in a hurry, we only have two and a half minutes, so maybe it's not against the wall all the way. Maybe you don't put it in, you know, at an angle, so the robot will back up and then go like, like this. Number two, always tell the robot where it's at. Let me, let me explain. You can't just like yell, hey, you're here on the map. It, it doesn't understand you. Let, let, me, let me explain what I mean. So what you're about to see, I tried to slow down as much as possible. I'm gonna talk through it really quickly while the robot's doing it, but use the black lines and more importantly, use the walls to tell the robot where it's at. It's almost like restarting in the middle of a program. So what you're about to see is the robot stop at a black line, turn back up against the wall, and it's gonna start there every single time. Then it's gonna go towards the tire, all right? So let's, let's, let's watch. So the robot's gonna stop, start looking for the line, stop at the line, turn back up against the wall, see the black line again, then head towards the tire. So anywhere you can incorporate into your programming, like to tell the robot where it's at by stopping at a black line and most efficiently backing against the wall, it it is gonna do you wonders with how consistent your programs will start to become once you once you start doing that. And number three, the last one for this video, uh, I plan on making more of these videos like this, but the last one for this video is Pick missions that are consistent. Consistency is a big deal in the robot game. These are Lego. They're made from Lego. They are not perfect. Although I think these two robots are fantastic, they are not perfect. And having consistency is key in being a successful robot run. So uh, pick missions that you know are gonna work very, very often that you can make work very, very often because you only have two and a half minutes. You have to pick and choose what missions you do and you need to choose the ones that work for you the most often, whether that's the bench, the slide, the basketball, the tire flip, the weight machine, the rowing machine, the treadmill, the, 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 the step counter, uh, hanging on the pull-up bar. You have to figure out which one of these you can solve with the most consistency to earn you the most amount of points. I always tell students, you run it 10 times in a row and when it works nine out of those 10 times, we, we're good. You're not gonna score all the points. You're not gonna solve every single mission. So again, pick and choose what's gonna work consistently for you to score the most amount of points on a consistent basis. I've used the word consistent so much in this video. It's because it's key. Everything that I've shown you helps you gain consistency. So I hope I've helped you out. I hope I've, I've given you three good ideas that you can start doing if you're not already doing them to help you be more consistent, score more points, and, and have a successful robot run with one of these two robots or you, whatever robot design you're using. I wish you the best of luck, and I'm gonna make more of these tips, tricks, hacks videos as, as, we, as we go along. Good luck. I'll see you guys in the next video.